Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. This week, Microsoft announced a new product that's going to be added to the Microsoft 365 product line. It's called Microsoft Lists. Now, essentially, what this is going to be is a tool to keep track of large projects with Teams. So it can be used as a project manager, it can be used to keep track of a product launch, a website launch, a content calendar, uh, an inventory, or track any other kinds of assets. And in looking through this post, it looks like it's going to be very similar to Airtable, which we'll take a look at in one minute. But what's really cool is because it's part of the Microsoft 365 suite, it's going to be integrated with all of the other Microsoft services, including Microsoft Teams, which is going to make it an incredible collaborative tool. Now, the product isn't out yet. It's going to be launched shortly, but um, if we take a look at Airtable, we can get a sense of how this is going to work. Now, Airtable's a great product. I've used it before to keep track of a number of different things. And in this case, I've got a template of a product catalog set up here. And what's really cool is it looks like a spreadsheet, but actually it's a little bit more advanced than a spreadsheet because each of these fields is linked to fields in other tabs within this product catalog. And what I can do is uh, I can open up any one of these rows as a record and get all of the information for that record. So we can see that this entry is a bookshelf. We can see it's under the type bookshelf. It has an image, it has a list for the vendor and a bunch of other information. And if you notice the vendor listed here is box and cask. Well, if I go to the vendors tab and I open up the record for box and cask, I can actually now see all of the products related to box and cask. So the items in the furniture list is are linked to the records for the vendor. So all of these fields interact with each other, which is really, really cool. The other thing that's great is there are a number of different views, so you don't have to view this as a spreadsheet. We can switch the view to a furniture gallery, and then we get this nice layout where we can see the products in a much more visual way. And looking through this post from Microsoft, it looks very much like uh, Microsoft Lists is going to function the same way. You can see we have a very similar uh, view, that spreadsheet view with all the dynamic um, fields here. As we scroll down, we can see there's also this gallery view. So it looks very similar to Airtable, and Airtable is an amazing product, and this is going to be integrated in the whole Microsoft 365 suite. So I'm really anticipating checking this out. Um, as soon as this comes out, I will certainly review it and update a new tech tip about that. And um, if you use Airtable, um, I'd love to uh, hear your thoughts about how it's worked for you. Um, and if you take a look at this post and um, have some thoughts, throw it in the comments. I'd love to hear your comments. And um, I'll look forward to reviewing this when it comes out. So that's all I've got for you today. Thanks so much for tuning in. As always, hit that subscribe button. We release new tech tips every weekday at noon, as well as two live stream projects every weekday at 10 and 2. And uh, check out the DAE.com for a full list of online workshops and private lessons. And if you have an idea for a tech tip you'd like to see me create, throw it in the comments and I'll do my best. Thanks and have a great day.